We're back like I never left because I didn't. I just wanted to make sure that video got cut. I didn't want to lose a single moment of that. So this is a landline telephone. You sneaked into Ferguson's office? Yup, I'm in. A single alarm triggered. Nice. He's invisible. I see you found the landline Johannes told us about. You need me to run through its mechanisms? Sure, provided that it doesn't make you feel too ancient. Shut up and listen. Okay, I'll get comfortable. Hope this is not a mechanic that I'm suddenly super bad at. Molding it, right? Look, it's not different from a regular phone. You should have a numeric pad where the phone is connected. That's it. So just click on it and put a sequence of nine numbers and wait for it to form the caller. You can always use the numpad or number keys on your keyboard as a shortcut. Cool. You should have Johannes' phone phone address in your neural drive in case you want to give it a try. Sure, I'll have a look around too, since in case I too in case I see some useful info to start digging around towards M and A. I set my drive in detective mode, so I'm actually picking up facts and important data. I've also loaded Johannes' voice in it, along with the voice Aqua prepared for me. That should be more than enough to get me started. I wish me luck. Luck wished. Was there? I know. Since you complained about the computer ruining your feng shui, I had it installed in a hidden compartment. Computer. To use it, activate it from your phone. It's all sevens to hit the jackpot. We'll set it how you want it, then you're back. Francis. You gotta love them posted link. Post it's leaking corporate info since 1980. Did you keep that information, my dude? I'm okay. The flowers are synthetic, but they feel like the real thing will last for months. There's a card in it. Glad to have you back, Adrian. Call me. I'll put you up to speed. Karen from HR. Getting a bit ahead of themselves, huh? Some documents look like meeting schedules. Genesis plan discussion. July 5th, 1030 at Office 62. COO. Empower middle managers. July. Merges with the EC UK. Next steps. That's it for this week. Shit, this is the natural is the natural bone. That's something carved in it. Dolce Bellum and Expertis. War is sweet to those who have never experienced it. This guy's a total loony. Okay, so let's test it, calling Johanna Seftis. Keep it here. Hey, John, it's Brandius. What do you need? I'm inside of Ferguson's office. What now? Okay, the MNA and many other important systems are controlled through the landline. It'd be a good idea to start scouting Ferguson's computer first to get as much intel as you can. Uh, the thing is that this guy doesn't own a computer. What? That's impossible. I'm 100% sure Ferguson has a computer in his office. Must be hidden somewhere in the room. The guy's a feng shui fan boy. I'm sure he's got it inside his desk or something. Check the room close to him. I'm sure there's a mechanism to draw the computer out. Okay, I'll see what I can find. If you already know this one. Accessing office computer. Jackpot. Actual physical computer, huh? Okay, show me your secrets. All right, of course it needs a password. Can't you crack it? Let me try. Um, old school. 
No, this carries a beast. We use a torch the password out of the owner. Okay, uh, should I call it torture? Of course, that was a joke. Don't call anyone. I'll try to figure out the password myself. This would be a great time to take advantage of the rogue implants Akira installed in Ferguson. I need to find a way to contact him. I need to find the password to access this. I don't want to do this anymore. Ferguson. Let's see, do we have Ferguson's number? I don't care about this. I think what I'll do is I'll disguise myself as... Oh, baby wouldn't know... I'll... I'll be... Dr. Edgar Coldstream. And I'll call HR, Karen, and pull Clad on her. Hello, this is Karen from HR. How can I help you? Yo, Karen, um, Edgar, Daddy, so good to hear your voice. Oh, nice. Coming up with more revolutionary ideas for the company? Sure, I. I know you're super depressed after Akira started performing you at your job. But you shouldn't worry about that. After all, we don't love you for your ability to code, but for your creativity, right? You just enjoy coming up with the wildest ideas, and with Aqua by your side, there's nothing you can't achieve. After all, if your creation does your job for you, it's still your merit, don't you think? Uh, yeah, maybe. Thanks for cheering me up. Listen, I need something. I need to contact Adrian first. He's not in his office, and I had an urgent matter has come up. Ah, uh, Adrian hasn't really been feeling well these days, so he's resting at his villa by the harbor. Fortunately, he had an emergency line installed on his home. Take note. 555-693-030. Gotcha. Thank you. Tell him we're praying for his recovery at HR. Sure. Bye. What implant did I put into him? Can I find that out? Oh, nothing, sorry. What implants? Can I do one of these? Let's go all the way back to like early in the game. This seems like cheating. But probably not. The punk who hates corporations. Okay. The punk is the one that doesn't like corporations. So I'm going to call as myself. Be the freelance hero. Randy is himself. Alright. Let's call up uh five 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 six nine three zero three zero. What? Adrian Ferguson? Who is this? You can go to hell. Relax, I'm not one of your lackeys. My name is Brandius, a freelance hacker trying to bring some SP bring SPW and MNA down. Are you contacting me through our land network line? That's bull, kid. I like you. I called you hoping you'd be willing to help me bring Supercontinent down. You bet I am, but how did you know about my new perspective? My associate is the best information broker you can find in this town. A CFO switching sides is too big an opportunity to pass up, don't you think? Aha, bold, bold, I like it. How can I help you? I'm in your office right now. I need the password to access your computer. You don't play games, huh? The password is Mer Mer get the world 4891. Mer Mer get the world. Merge the world. Wow, really, Brian? These like it's it's just regular words. This movie's cyber pop, but they're not just making shit up again. Again, second time. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Can't even say bye. I need to find a password. Got it. What the hell? The password doesn't work? But the Ferguson's not trying to trick me. 
They must have changed his password. Maybe. Hello? Hey, this is Brandis. Pleasure Gummy doesn't work. The answer changed it, huh? It's been one day from the office, they're shutting me down already. I'm sorry, kid, I'm afraid I can't help you. Hmm, I don't know if this is too much ass play. If you send me your medical ID, I could recreate your voice on a Vomod and try to trick some people in the company into thinking I'm you. We'd still have a shot at them with it. Oldest kid in town. Alright, I don't care for the fucking system anymore, so take whatever you need. Medical ID is a number. Thank you. Now I just need to pass the ID to Von Donovan and see if I can get for against his bio profile. Listen, I gave you pretty much all I can. I don't want to be involved in these games anymore, so I'm going to take a long walk to along the beach. Sure, you're very helpful. I'll send you a bottle of champagne when we win. Go for the jugular. Hey, Donovan, I need your help. Sure, what's up? Ferguson gave me his medical ID. Can you get me his voice? It's blah, 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 too. Attaboy. Akira's on it. Got it. Akira's trying to bring Ferguson's profile to your neural drive as we speak. If she could do it that fast, why can't we get um, more voices than just Edgar's? I'm just saying. Oh yeah, just received it. You're the best. Thank you, team. Now go get him, Tiger. I added the Tiger. So what is the goal now? Is this where everything's going to go down? Okay. I'm going to call Johanna because... I'm just not sure. Oops. Hey, John's Brandius. What do you want? Nothing, sorry. <laughs> Nothing, sorry. Man's gonna love that. We have to watch out for Radica Project CEO. We got the CEOs. The CFOs thing. COO. So maybe call Karen from HR as the CFO. Actually, she really liked Edgar Cole's stream, so let's let's try her again. Yeah. Let's see if we can get another phone number. Hello, Kim Fresher. How can I help you? Uh, she, nothing. Not her. Not her as him. Let's ask Donovan, see if he can help. Bit. Hmm. Oh, duh. I'm gonna lose my mind here. I'm gonna call as the CFO. We'll call Karen. See if I can get my computer reset. Hello, this is Karen from HR. How can I help you? Hello, Karen. Hello, Adrian. I thought you were resting up at your villa. How are you? Fine, thanks. You can keep resting if you want. Don't worry about tonight's plan. Radhika's got everything under control. I'm feeling a bit better, and I want to be here to support the company at this critical moment. It's so brave of you, Adrian. Listen. Someone changed my password. I need to access my computer. Click. Okay, that's unfortunate. I'm afraid I can't help you. You should call Francis about that. Would you please remind me what his number is? Sure, let me check. Mm, here. CTO Francis Coconut. Blah, blah, blah. Got it. Thank you so much, Karen. You're welcome. Seriously, their IT is done, like, gonna be done by the CTO? I mean, they're a huge company and... Nah, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Maybe the top tier people have, like, a different level of executive admin right stuff. This seemed a bit odd. Let's call her. I feel like a real hacker. 
CTO's office. What's wrong? Good evening, Francis. Hey, Adrian. Why are you calling? I thought you were taking some days off. That's where I was feeling a bit off with the pressure and all, but hell, I want to be here. Well spoken, friend. Tonight we shape history. Is there something I can do for you? I can't access my computer. I forgot my login. I didn't save my password. Oh, that's... I'm sorry, buddy. Since you were taking an indeterminate number of days off, I figured I should change your password. Just to be safe. We got some critical days ahead, you know. I understand. Good call, Francis. What's the new password, then? I didn't want to tarnish your style, so I made a small homage to your idol. As a bit of... A small homage to your idol. As a bit of welcome back present. And the password is... Fork Parker Best CFO. Aha, uh -huh, very funny. Okay, I've got stuff I have to deal with tonight. Thank you, man. Give me a call if you need anything else. See you, bye. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm in. Shit, there are hundreds of employee registries here. I'm gonna filter for the ones that seem familiar. Alright, what do we have here? Except for Francis and girl, looks like I have Clarence Dex's most employees profile. Let's dig in. Which folder should I access first? Uh, my own. What up? Nice, I'm in. Gonna run my data skimming scripts to see what we got here. Agent Ferguson, 47. He's on medical leave, of course. I mean, he's a pretty dull guy. Money, money, mergers, growth, mini pie, and bar charts. Oh, some interesting emails about how he's worried about the new CEO may affect stakeholders' trust in Supercontinent. The conversation ends in, we should discuss this in person, now. Whoa, there's a big amount here dedicated to charity in the city. Looks like this company is actually trying to act on their social promises. Ferguson doesn't seem to be very in the loop of SPW and M&A beyond financing it. Oh, Aqua's surprisingly cheap project to maintain. Shit, it's actually producing benefits even now, when it's only being used internally. Kudos to our skinny friend. Beyond that, can't find anything of much interest. Oh, that's alright, maybe we can use that bit of trouble about the stakeholders not trusting the new CEO. Sure, I'll keep it in mind. Now, the sure Shacks is next. Oh, this is gonna be good. Who's the most interesting? I'm gonna do Diana, Marissa, Naima, then of course Karen. Okay, my Diana's count. I'm gonna run my data skimming strips and see what we've got here. Diana Bias, 31, consultant engineer, active project, social psyche, wear, foot welfare. Oh, here's her land on phone address. Whoa, she had her implants done at Supercon's clinic so we can access her medical data. If I share this with Akira, they should be able to update my vote mod with Diana's voice. Let's keep digging. Ouch, you seem to get her into a fine mess hunt. She's being reviewed for leaking company secrets. Yeah, we did kind of snitch her out a little bit. Oops. Yes, dude, she evil dude. Wait, what's this? A hidden file called Failsafe NFO? Holy shit, looks like some sort of shrimp card down in hell to get back at Silver in case events turned against her. It points to a corrupted version of SVW that could fry the whole system. This is it, Donovan. This is what we needed. Yes, bless you, Diana. Okay, execute or whatever you cool hackers do. Um, it's not that easy. The corrupted version was committed to the project's main repository, whose administrator is Edgar. To get the firework started, I'll need to access Edgar's profile to roll the repository back to the corrupted version. Ah, uh, cause never that simple with you nerdy spies. Don't worry, we still got this. If we can access Edgar's account, this evil machine is done. Now, which folder should I access? <sighs> um, Larissa. Let's find a more buyer. Nice, I'm in. Gotta run my dad's getting scripts to see what we got here. Larissa Rebellion, 29. Cool. Her land number is here too. For the rest, there's a mass amount of sketches, concept art, brainstorming logs. The only mildly interesting thing is that she started to consider some ideas regarding the presentation of the new CEO. Looking into how to properly communicate their philosophy while spinning the situation to Supercontinent's favor. No buyer notes, it seems Larissa is struggling to picture a new boss's personality or image. And maybe I could use that. Nothing else? Nope, it's pretty above, much above war, this girl. 
Hmm. Which floor should I access next? Naima. Nice, man. Yeah, yeah. Naima Cross, 434. Got her landline number. Uh, shit, this girl's super boring. Plus, she has a ridiculous number of individually password protected files. I don't blame her. Knowing her bosses have access to the files of employees below them. Nothing of much interest here. It also seems she didn't have her implants done at Supercontinent's clinic, so no medical data either. Maybe if you can find out what clinic she went to, Akar can look up, look for her medical ID. Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can find anything on that. Now we have her number. Cool. Okay then. Which wallet should I access next? Karen from HR. Nice, I'm in. Don't know my dad is getting scripts. Let's see what we got here. She's 24 years old and her name is Karen from HR. From HR. From my HR. The German. Well, no, silly. She's written in literally as first name Karen, last name from HR. Ah, sorry. This is very weird. She has a pretty normal profile. There's an average amount of common info here. So very normal. It feels strange. Almost forged. I mean, who is the uninteresting? It's like her whole profile is packed with inoffensive signs. Or I think you're probably overthinking it. Focus on our mission. Okay, but this is super weird, trust me. Trust you, but who knows what level of secret corporations like this could be hiding. We have more pressing matters to attend to. Alright, alright. Which photo should access next? Let's see what this happens. We can't do anything. Request security question to recover access. That's what not? Bring your access to and put your security code on the phone and link to this computer. And here you go, the secret question is. Do you have a death wish? Try this again, the CTO shall deliver. Ha, well played, Francis. Let's be cautious, back to the room. And the author of Cold Stream. Oh, it's a good equipment. This one's password protected. To regain access to your computer and put your security code on your phone. Well, and here we are, the security question is, number of existing Akaros plus Larissa's former name. Player phone proves the number of existing Akaros plus the rest's former name. What? Larissa's former name? Is this guy in love with her? Apparently so. Do you know anything about Lister or change your name? Nope, this is news to me. Okay, this looks like I feel like a fish about calling around. Here we go. Now. Leave the computer. Well, where to start? Where to start? So, let's see, yo. So, who is Larissa friends with? Francis. We need to get Larissa's voice and we need to call Dr. Edgar Colstream. We also need to get Dr. Edgar Colstream's number. But let's see. There's one password. Name and plans for independent clinic. So first we let's call Naima. And whose voice shall I use? Who's someone that she would tell? She wouldn't tell John Seftis. She doesn't know her. Really. Larissa. I mean, if you suddenly get a call from the CFO, that would be weird. But I think that would be the only person I have clout with Naima. Or what's her name from HR? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's just an Akara robot. Yeah, let's, let's call Naima. Oops. Yes. Good evening, Naima. Oh, it's friggin' hadn't you gone home? 
Yes, I'm calling from emergency landline I have at the beach villa. Uh, is there something I can do for you? Why would I want to sabotage her? Do you know anything about Lurks' previous identity? Weird question. Um, yes, why do you ask? I'm gonna have security background checks in all places because we've been having some data leakage problems in the company. I'm sure Larissa's is loyal to us, but you can never be too careful, right? Okay, although all those shouldn't be disclosing the colleagues personal data, not even to an executive. These are drastic times, Naima. I'm sure it can be at, can't be that illegal for your boss to check up on your background, right? I don't know why I fight it. We both know I'll comply. Her former name was Danielle. Daniel. Daniel Rebilliard. See, not a big deal. I'll continue with my background check then. Thanks, Naima. Uh, we got that. A little bit of social engineering. Alright, so we got that, and there's phone password code, do you know Agra's thing, we need a number of existing Akras. I'm pretty sure we should be able to ask him. We actually, oh yeah, I need to do this too. We asked the Dines medical ID, can you get voice, she do it, implants a super content, can you tell Akra to look it up? Already on it. Got it. Cool. Yep, just received it. New voice, Diana Maeus. Maeus. Thanks, team. Make good use of it. Um, something else. Um. Larissa, former idea, can give me her voice. And it's not easy to search, so we can look for both names Larissa and Daniel in the city's gender transitioning centers. Augur is streaming the data. Found a match, let me see. Yes, that's our girl, no doubt about it. Akira is transmitting Larissa's profile to your neural drive as we speak. Alright, just came in. Let's see what I can do with this voice. I guess Edgar will be the easiest target if something's left to squeeze out of him. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah, we'll hit up Edgar. Edgar as Larissa. Look, we don't Edgar's number. Wait. See if we get anything else from our dude. You know, these are access Diana's virus? No, we're not. Oh, no, yeah, that's your session. Have you tried calling Diana? Maybe you could try to trick the CTO with some voice. I'll see what I can do. Well, we know. Let's see. Let me think about this. Well, I have a powerful Altoid. Let's think through this. Larissa's struggling to picture a new CEO. Let's call Larissa as Adrian Ferguson. He has some doubts about their, the stakeholders, uh, the new 15 year old. So maybe uh, uh, Larissa can't see it either, so let's see if they can kind of do something here. Larissa? Right? Nah, I'm not a dolphin. It's probably no condition to work at all. Feel free to leave a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I'm in the mood. Yeah, I wouldn't be at the office at this time of the night either. Curse her not being a corporate prick, Larissa. Hmm. So not her. She's not going to be the one. Diana May is the consulting engineer. Maybe... Let's call... <laughs> let's call Karen from HR as Adrian Ferguson again. Actually, you know what? Let's call us Edgar Colstream. I want to ask her some more questions. 
Yeah. I need to remind my phone number. I you shouldn't smoke that much weed on important nights like this. I'm so sorry, Karen, but the pressure, a delicate mind like mine needs some magic healing. In any case, I need the number. I gotta coordinate with the team to fix unexpected this year. Sure, sure, it's your number. I was just worried about your health. Health is fine. Relax. There's your, here you are. Your phone number. Dope. Thank you very much, Karen. Take care. That was nice. So now we got Dr. Edgar Coldstreams, and now we're gonna call as Larissa. Ba 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 three eight nine four six six. They need another number. I'm super high right now, so I hope this isn't important. <laughs> nice. Hey Edgar, glad to hear you're having fun. Larissa, what are you doing? I worked so late, I thought you were free at last. Well, tonight's an important night. I want to hang around, make sure everything get, everything's fine. True, true. So why don't you come into my lab and make sure everything goes smoothly together? Ah, uh, sure, I may swim by your place later. I love you. Can't wait to get your hands on what, on what you're smoking, handsome. That girl's in love with Larissa. Uh, Larissa's hard to person. I hope he's stunned enough to buy it. Were you calling for something in particular, or did you just miss me? Do you know how many Aqua Androids there are? By chance, do you know how many Aqua Androids there are? Of course I do. They're my children. We're a big family, 256 siblings in total. It's a nice number, huh? Ah, uh, and they're all lucky to be. And they all became so smart. Ha, uh -huh, you're lucky, Dad, Edgar. It's only because I have you to inspire me. Oh, you gotta do work now. Talk later. Log it in, log it in. Nope, the security question was number is just not present. Lurks his former name now. Yeah, let me do that one. Oh, yeah. Gotta put it in the phone. Uh, I said it was 256 Daniel. 256. 326. D-A-N. I. D-L. Access the Dr. Cole Streams account granted for Executive Office 56 computer. Bam. Probably just oh, I'll take it out as your boy still. Let's go in. Finally I'm in. Gonna run my data scheme and scripts to see what we've got here. 37 years old. Whoa, this guy's grades are mediocre to put it mildly. I guess not every genius has to fit into that gamer rat race, huh? Well, he managed a doctor. That's an achievement. Oh, he had his implants done at Supercon, and we can access medical data. Shame that last night I told Akira to recreate Edgar's voice. We could have gotten it from this. Well, whatever. Now, what we came for. Let's check the Mirror Neuron Algorithm Project's repository. Oh my god, I found it. This is a hot mess. Dinah dude, this isn't a buggy version. This is a fucking instrument of chaos. There's no saying to to what will happen in the network if we execute this code. Sounds good to me. Let's fry supercon then. You're always down for blowing up technology, huh? Electricity is overrated. Okay, I, I downloaded the program. We just need to find a way to compile it. <clears throat> we need to compile it and find a way to upload it to supercontinent's network. Mirror neuron, neuron bullshit is on borrow time. Oh, nothing. All right. So what do we need to do now? So at this point, I'm thinking, unless they're like directly asking me a question, I'm gonna follow through with the intent of what I think these two people want. Grandius and Donovan. It seems to me they want to stop an M M A. If they ask me, my opinion, you know, I'll do that. But me, not you know, if like I float through as Donovan, 
you know, I've been kind of jumping in, but I'm going to follow through to see what, you know, these characters want. Make sure it's in line with what they've shown me up to this point, at least. But how much is them and how much is me? Oh. All right, let's see. So, we need to get what? I feel like Karen from HR is the issue. Okay. So, we have Diana. Let's call Francis as Diana. CT office, what's wrong? Hello, Miss Coconut. This is Diana Mays. Hey, Diana, what's up? I found a critical duck bug in SPW that I need to fix before it goes live. I don't know how to put this, but I found a critical bug in SPW that we need to fix before it goes live. What? Why? We can't make last minute modifications. Tonight's a big deal. Plice precisely what we need to fix before it goes live. Listen, even if I agree to this nonsense, the only way to add something to the super computer stream right now is through an official SRA ID. And to add something that way, you need you need a build signed off for Radica's Radhika's biometric data. Okay, is there a way to contact Radhika? You know, our CEO doesn't keep, take calls; she only makes them. Mm, okay, if I manage to get a proper build, will you agree to let me push it to production? Only if the situation is concerning enough. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Okay. We need to replicate Radica's biometric profile in order to hijack their minute. Find a way to concern Francis Etios unless it's all the program. Okay. So what's the way to approach this? Let's see if we can get into. It is protected. Yeah, yeah. So we might not get in there. is not available. Let's call Karen from HR as Diana. When I don't know what to do, I'm just going to call Karen from HR. Hello, it's Karen from HR. How can I help you? Hello, Karen. This is Diane. How are you? contact with us is almost over. It's such a shame. But don't worry, a girl as talented as you, it won't be long before you're calling in for another project. I I heard you try to stop SPR. You tried your SPW project on yourself, right? Did it help you with your chronic depression? Who is this Karen? How does she know about the SPW dying depression? Are they close? Yeah, I feel super good, thank you. Listen, Karen. Uh, nothing, sorry. Her voice. I'm going to call Karen Fraser again. 
this time it's Johanna. Oh, this is Karen from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Karen. This is... Good evening, Johanna. This is definitely an Akira robot, right? Like, we know that. Glad to hear you're back. You had us all worried sick. I'm sure you all need us a little time away from the company for a couple of days to get rid of that anxiety of yours. How can I help you? Thanks, Karen. Second thought, no thanks. Oh. Okay, I've called as Diane. I've called as Adrian. Can't call us there. Can't call... Can't call us Naima. I can't call us Larissa. I don't think I've called yet, this guy. Oh, this is Karen from HR. I can help you. Hi, Karen. What's up? Hi. Larissa, my woman, you finally got out and I want a little after a little sprint. Uh, yeah, so, hey, our healthy insurance covered your gender calibration in the end, right? It wasn't right that you were spending such a fortune on them. If you have a problem again, just let me know, okay? Sure, thank you. This girl seems to be fond of Larissa. What did you want, by the way? Not what I called. I mean, yeah, I'll sure answer that. Call us Adrian. I mean, call us myself. Hello, this is from Roger. How can I help you? Hi, this is Lucas Leipzig. Sorry, Lucas Leipzig. This like, is line is for employees. I'm an employee. No Lucas Leipzig works here. I'm sorry. Do you never see an employee in the company? Why are you a robot? I'm afraid I'm going to alert security. How'd you access this network, sir? Forget it. You can't mess with Karen from HR, huh? I don't like that save. Shouldn't have called Karen from HR. I got fucked up right there. Alright. Well, either way you look at it. Find a way concerned, Francis. So I'll install a corrupted program. Who can concern Francis? Ooh, a smart enough to concern Francis. Adrian, probably. Johanna. Johanna's probably. Probably enough. CTL's office, what's wrong? Hey, Francis, this is Johanna. Whoa, John, are you back in the office? How are you doing? I'm very Francis. My implant is malfunctioning. I went loony. I'm sorry, Francis. Oh my god, that's scary. Are you okay, though? I can handle tonight by myself. No, I'm fine. I gotta fix already. Thanks. I wanna be here, too. This is an important night. Very true. Well, glad to have you back. Can I do something for you? Yes, Francis. Ah, fuck. Alright. Nothing. Okay, let's try Diana. Did I call Diana? Does Diana whore? Maybe Dr. Coltring. Let's see. Oh, Francis. CTO's office was wrong. Yo, Francis, this Edgar, I. Uh, what'd you fuck up this time? Hey, how about a little faith here? Okay, what do you want? Okay, I fucked up and I need to modify my name before it goes live. Okay, I fucked up, yeah. What? Seriously, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? Calm down, Drama Queen. It's just a minor fix so the algorithm doesn't do any funny stuff. Funny stuff? We're talking about the future of fucking mankind here, Edgar. Can't you be a bit more proactive, Frankie? Yelling doesn't fix shit. Frankie, I'm gonna get your ass fired after we're done with this, mark my words. Whatever, dude. How do I upload the patch, then? Uh, relax. At this point, you'll need to access your office's array to make sure make modifications to the current stream. Cool, where's that? You can unlock it with the same phone you're using to insult me. Just then put all zeros and your office's number at the end. Cool, thanks. Wait, you know that build that for a bill to be able to go live it has to be signed with Raika's biometric data, right? Uh, how do I do that? Shit, we're screwed. Only Raika herself can do that. Okay, how do I contact her? You can. She doesn't have a specific phone or just she calls when she needs to. Haughty bitch. Be careful. So I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the help. We're so screwed. Okay. Run to CFO's office. 
Let's see, hello. HR. CFO is 56. Who's the CEO? Okay. All zeros plus this office numbers. Whoops, I already forgot it. Zero 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 fifty six got it. Yeah, that's good. All I can strain for office zero fifty six. Here we go. I guess we need to compile that virus then. Oh yeah. I bet as soon as we start doing this, what's your name's gonna contact us? The corrupted code. Can't compile it so we get what's her name. So She doesn't contact anyone. This is called Karen from HR, is Dr. Cole's stream again. Oh, this is Karen from HR, I can help you. That's not gonna help. What's on this? Last three months has a card in it. Let off you back, Adrian. Call and I'll put you up to speed. Karen from HR. Let's call as Adrian then. I'm pretty sure we already called, but whatever. At this point, I'm just like throwing things against the wall at Karen here. Nothing, thanks. Francis Coconut. Fine. Maybe let's call our buddy Johanna. See if we can. See if we can do something with that. I thought I'll try talking to Donovan. Hey, John's brother. Nothing. Sorry. Anything here, Donovan? Any help? New challenge. We need to forage Radica's big bio profile. Only to run programming super content that stream is if it's signed by the CEO. Yeah, I heard. What a cautious kid. I spoke with Akara as soon as you found out about it. Akara thinks they can pull it off. Not a version good enough for you to replicate their voice, but at least the minimum necessary to sign a build. That's amazing. Give it to me. It'll require some work on your side, though, of course. Ah, Alright, what is it? You need to gather as much info as Radica as you can. Akara will interpolate every bit of useful intelligence you get them to do some sort of bio-profile key gem that will be able to brute force the signature or something like that. Ah, okay, don't start with the technical terms. I get the picture. Thank you. I'm going to set a data gauge in my neural drought, so please tell Aqua to keep me updated with her progress. Request for later. Okay, time to dig for some juice. Good luck! Alright. I think that's enough for right now. We're going to be back in some tense moments when this is done. But, it's exciting. I think we're coming to a close. Thanks for watching.